written in Aramaic, the translation from the Aramaic, because Jesus was speaking Aramaic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when he said, I am the living God, he said it in the in what language did he say? Aramaic, and then the writers translate for his Greek audience as to what these words mean. So that means that it was written in Aramaic to begin with? No, no, it was written in Greek. Yeah. And then the writers explain what this word means in Greek. Right. So you know like when Matthew says Jesus was crucified in Golgotha and then Matthew says Golgotha means the place of skulls. Yeah. Or when Jesus says Elo Elo Lama yeah. then Matthew tells you uh, this means my God, my God. So he's writing originally in Greek but then he's translating for his Greek audience. Right, but what I'm saying is that in the the same thing that he's saying yeah. when it's written in Aramaic, the translation from the Aramaic, because Jesus was speaking Aramaic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when he said, I am the living God, he said it in the in what language did he say that? Jesus never said that. Um, like, like John records Jesus as saying before Abraham was I am but when it gets translated into other languages such as Aramaic in the Aramaic version there's an interpolation of I am the living God so you're saying that, that, yeah. that when Jesus was speaking what was he saying when he was speaking in Aramaic? Well, well John originally wrote that Jesus said before Abraham was I am I am, right? Yeah, okay. but not so, I am the living God. Okay, yeah. now that's what my point is, that when Jesus said that in Aramaic, and if we go to the Aramaic of this sentence, right, I am before Abraham was I am, that I am translation is not an interpolation, it's like literal translation of Aramaic to English. And that literal translation would be I am the living God. And, and, uh, John didn't write his gospel in Aramaic. But his gospel was translated into Aramaic, so, uh, like maybe a century or decades after. And then in that translation, someone interpolated, I'm the living God. Right, okay, so you're yeah. saying that... That's how I understand it. Right. Yeah. But this is not just uh, in John, it's in all the gospels that were written. So that means if you go back to uh, you... I am the living God, it's yes. in the, uh, the other gospels? Yes, if you, if you go to the other gospels, uh, okay. Jesus says I am in Mark or in Luke oh, or okay. yeah. even in Matthew, the translation from that. Really there, there's many I am, like Paul says, by God's grace, I am that I am. Yeah, but when yeah. Jesus is making up, see, okay, and yeah. you can make that argument, which is yeah, nice, yeah. And, uh, or the blind man that Jesus heals says, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. But it's not that kind of I am. When they are picking up stones to stone him and saying that we are stoning you, that yeah. you're claiming to be God. Mere man, you're claiming to be God. No, it's to do with Abraham. They're saying, um, he's like, he's claiming to be like equal or greater to Abraham. So, Where does it say that? Um, so, from the context, so, um, sorry. Uh, so in John chapter 8, uh, verse number 50 something. Okay, then. Uh, John 8, 52, the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, um, as, did, um, as did the prophets yet. And you say, if anyone keeps my words, he will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? And the prophets died. And who, who do you make God? And Jesus answered, If I glorify my son, my glory is nothing. It is my father who glorifies me, whom you say he is our God. But uh, you know him not. And if you were, uh, you would know him. And I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his words. And your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. And he saw it and was glad. And the Jews say, you are not yet 50 years old um, uh, and you have seen Abraham. And Jesus says, truly, truly, I said to you before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. And so they picked up stones for that him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. So, so there is another passage where they, where they picked up stones and, they, and Jesus said to them, why do you want to stone me? And yeah. they said, because you claim to be God. Yeah, John That's 10, 30. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, I'm the father of one, yeah. yeah. So that means that he's that in their eyes, due to he's claiming to be God. Okay. And we have seen that if yeah. you read the Aramaic, it explicitly states that Jesus in the Aramaic would have said, In John, there's a common theme of misunderstanding. Let's so the Jews John, are then. constantly misunderstanding. Let's Jesus, forget about John, yeah. but if you go to the other Gospels, oh, okay. that's the point. So, in my view, we have been looking at the Greek translation in English, and it kind of leaves out the I am the living God, but in the Aramaic Is that because it's an interpolation? Rather interpolation. Than, rather and, than and, and, and original. Is there, is there a way to verify that it's an interpolation? So if you look, there's no Greek manuscript that has I am the living God. Well, no, it's just this Aramaic. That's right. So yeah. the Aramaic for this, not just John, because yeah. you say John was written in Greek, right? Yeah. Okay, what about Matthew and Luke and the other? And the Q and the yeah. other original words, so, so they would have been written. My argument yeah. would be that they would have been written in Aramaic. So as you know, Mark... Uh, is the is traditionally is the interpreter of Peter, so he's Peter's secretary, and he wrote in Greek, and then Matthew and Luke used Mark's gospel to write their own gospels. So that means they were but also then written also in Greek. Q, uh, original, yeah, right? so, so Q is what's common between Matthew and Luke, mm. and those are also originally in Greek, but may have at one time been in Aramaic. But by the time they reached Matthew and Luke, they're originally in Greek. Um, the other reason is also Matthew, Mark and Luke and even John, the quote from the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Bible so rather than from that? the Which, Hebrew. Where, where so, you, you know, that? like verses that they quote mm. from the Old Testament, mm. uh, the, the version is from the Greek And when was that translated into Greek? About three, 300 years before Jesus. Okay, so why would that be an issue? So, uh, it, it just shows that they were originally written in Greek. But it was also translated. Um, no, but wait a minute, there was a Hebrew uh, Old Testament as well. Right? Yeah. yeah, but they don't use the Hebrew Old Testament. They use the Greek Testament because they're originally written in Greek okay. and they're writing for a Greek audience. Gotcha. But, All yeah, right. yeah. But let's give you this argument that you're trying to make is that, look, you know, this was written in Greek and then it was translated into Aramaic. So let's take that. So what you're saying is that when Jesus was saying, I am, in the Aramaic, the translation has been now changed into English to say, I am the living God. Um, not quite like you, the, the, the edition that you're using uh, is an Aramaic translation with that interpolation. When I looked um, into the translation, translation. Yeah. and I tried to figure out where it came from, is it I something see. that's recent or is it something that... And I digged into it and I found out that this was even before the Greek, okay. even before the Septuagint that we have right now, this was there. Is now it, what happened yeah. is because they, that was not a lingua franca, it never got into like mass uh, translation or when they use the translation, they use the lingua franca. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that this never existed. Yeah. yeah. So well, I mean, if, if you could find a Greek manuscript with that, inter with that, with that phrase, there would be, no, 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 no. Um, then I'd be interested to know that. But right. But um, then what you're saying is that you don't think that this is from the first, second century. That yeah. it was written in that. So if I showed you that it was written, because you know the there's well, you know there's five thousand Greek manuscripts of the New Testament. Sorry. Say what? There's five thousand Greek manuscripts. I think now it's about five thousand and three. Yeah, those are Greek New yeah, Testament. Yeah, yeah. uh, well, well, we have complete New yeah. Testament. So, if you can find a single manuscript with that, I'm the living well, God, then no, yeah, no, that'd be interesting okay. to see. Yeah. So you're saying that if there's a manuscript that goes back to the time, not necessarily, but just any Greek manuscript. Greek? Why are we talking about Greek? I'm not talking about Greek. I'm okay. talking about Aramaic. Uh, well, I mean, the, so if the, I get John was manuscript, John was written in Greek, right. but okay. not Let's in Aramaic. But yeah, yeah. Or any of the any gospels, of the other yeah, gospels yeah. that were written in Aramaic and they predate, like, like are they are they date from the first century or the second century? Yeah. Then that would tell us that this is authentic. It's not a translation of something else. The only first century gospels that we have are the canonical gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We don't have like another written. I mean, you could argue maybe the Gospel of Thomas, 
but even Thomas is originally written in Greek. So what are you saying that all the other acts and everything, where they, when were they written? Acts is also first century as well, yeah, but Acts is a gospel, it's like a, yeah, I know, it is the, uh, what like you call a, the life of the apostles, yeah, the, of the, the, the disciples. Of, of the disciple, right? Yeah, yeah. So, no, what I'm saying is that this whole thing, because this was written, I'm, I'm just trying to make the point is that it was early enough to know that and I can show you the proof next time. Okay, I was just trying to sure, show you yeah, yeah. yeah I'll be that where this comes from and it's not a, like, a, like you're saying that it was uh, taken from the Greek. My argument is that this was there at the same time because the Bible was written in like Hebrew, Greek and all that because we, yeah, the, so the thing of Franca was Greek, then like, okay, even if they wrote it, if, if let's say John wrote John in uh, in Greek, but yeah. there were Aramaic speakers who would take that Greek and translate it into Aramaic. Okay. Yeah. So if we have the first, second century Aramaic translation of this, then we have an authentic, uh, you know, thing. It's not something that like an done afterward where you can say this is an interpretation. But corruptions could also occur in the first century. Well, then that's if a people are translating yeah. in another language, right, or right, right. But then that, another then that culture has its or own like challenges that. and questions. And Stuff okay. Like that. So we'll, we'll discuss that then, but it's nice talking to you. No, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.